Hey guys, it's Cinder here, and we're back in the video. So you noticed I don't have a webcam in the second part, and that is because it was causing a lot of trouble, and I kind of just wanted to record my facial reaction. Um, but anyways, you can see that I have another tab, and that is my, the tab I'm uploading the other video on. So this is a part two. So here we can set our item price for our pet. Oh my gosh. So, uh, you can choose gems or diamonds. I want to choose diamonds because I want, um, diamonds for this, even though I don't have any gems. Actually, let's make this for gems, and let's put this as a really high price for gems. Uh, let's have, see how far it can go. Okay, it can go pretty high. Pretty high. 200,000. Okay, let's put this at, like, the maximum price because this is a randomized pet from the pet egg. So, uh, how high does this go? Oh my gosh, I'm, like, spamming click right now. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so the limit is 15,000, and I think that's a little much. I'm gonna set it to 14,000. Actually, never mind, let's just set it to 15,000. I bet some users have that. Uh, set that price. See, I don't even have 15,000. <laughs> Anyways... Let's sit for more pets because that's pretty much what I want to sell in this shop for now. So I noticed a little Easter egg here. So if you increase the price in diamonds, um, it also increases it in gems. So there's there's like a code for how many how many diamonds how many gems are worth a diamond. Um, you see, wait, two thousand three hundred. Did it change? Five thousand fifty. Six, two. Oh, no, it doesn't change, I guess. I thought it did for a second. Oops. Wait, it does. This is now 653, 655. Let's see if it changes from 655. It's increased this price substantially. No, it doesn't change. Crap, I thought it did. Oh, sorry. Uh... Sorry, I'm just, like, weird. Um, let's see. Let's keep increasing this price, because this is a crow. I might make- I probably will make it less than the other one, because you can kind of tell if the egg is a crow, because the egg actually floats a little bit in the preview. Which is actually- it's a pretty cool way to tell if this is a crow or not. Um, I'm making this crow a thing, because I don't like the beak, but whatever. It's me. Um, it seems a little, <laughs> it seems weird, I'm sorry for saying it, I don't like the pet, ah! Anyway, I kinda, I do like it, it's just weird to me. Anyway, let's set this price, and there we go! So, let's keep setting prices for all these pets that I don't want. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can add the pet that somebody tried to trade for, what? Would you like to remove this pet from your trade list and add it to my shop list? Oh, so apparently that crocodile was not from my trade list. It wasn't on trade. That's why no one was trading for it. Okay. So, no. Oh, guess. I kind of keep it on my trade list. Let's see what these other little pets are. This one. You speak weird to me. So, uh, you get traded. Let's increase the price. Oh, wait. Maybe I should probably make you for two diamonds? Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe I should probably make you for diamonds, because you're... You, my friend, we're only at Halloween. So I'm guessing you're rare? I don't know, let's make you for a couple diamonds. 50 diamonds. I don't know, about 50. Oh, 50, 50, we're going to 50. Okay, 50's good. Actually, it's a little much for a pet, so I guess we can say it, set it to 40. There we go. So now we have our three pets. Oh, you can just delete them, or you can actually edit what they're worth. So here we have... Late, it's loading. <laughs> here we have my shop! Okay, this is, this is cool. This is really awesome. I really like this update. Now, let's see what's in the secret shop. I like this little symbolism here, like, the battle against the fans, look, there's all the alphas, and Sir Gilbert right, right there rolling a snowball, and there's a fan throwing him. I really like this, this is really cute. 
So the secret item is a friendship cannon. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, it shoots things. Oh, it shoots hearts. That's great. I love it. I'm sorry I sound overly enthusiastic and such, but... Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. It's just... I'm pretty drained of all of this excitement today. Anywho, get it? I'm an owl. Ew, puns. Uh, let's just change animals back into my links. I used an owl to just fly around to uh, look, survey the lands because it's easier to search if you're an owl and not having to avoid objects by going around them as a land animal. This create your own shop thing is a game changer, which means like people are making like shop dens can actually like put this in their shop den and then sell a specific kind of items there. Like, oh, you can make like a juice hut den you can sell like juice hut items that'd be really cool that'd be really cool to say someone make like an actual mall not just like placing items and you can't buy anything um i'm actually at animal jam um and you can't buy anything so maybe you can put like put like uh my shop there and then you're like oh i can now buy this these kind of items beta shop my den Ooh, let's see and this is another thing. Um, like, when you're going to someone's den, you can just say beta shop my den, and then it'll be, like, an actual shop. Now, let's go to the shop and see what the items are, because I can probably buy these. Oh. Is there anything else, or... No. Did all the good items get sold out, man? Ah, jeez. I actually have all three of those items, and they're not beta. Why are you mad with Animal Jim HQ? Oh my god, this person's den's filled with masterpiece coins. Thank gosh. This is lovely. Anyways, let's go back to Animal Jim HQ den. Animal Jim HQ's den is to see if they actually have a my shop in their den. Oh my gosh, I realized I'm in all den and like all of the lands are full. Oh, except for Kimbar Outback, of course. Uh, I, I hope there's enough people there trading and stuff and not just trying to get out. Um, Cause I was actually looking for shops because Animal Gems Den was completely empty. So, uh, and the other one has not been on in a few days. Oh, and of course there's only a few people here. That's great. I was looking for people's dens to go into. Well then, I guess I gotta keep searching. Oh yeah, Coral Cannons has promise. And it's super laggy. <laughs> Who's saying rare is my den? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. So much lag. <laughs> oh jeez, I need help. Oh man. Oh my gosh. This... This lag is insane. I think I'm going to go off screen until I find a proper den. Whoa, look at this little shop. Look at these items you can just buy. This is nice. I think I want to buy this paw print vase. These items are actually really cheap. I'm surprised. I wonder if... Oh no, someone didn't buy it already. What? It's a really good masterpiece. Look at these. This is awesome, man! Look at this stuff! It's by Hyene? Well, I don't know. If I don't know if it's by Hyene, but... Um... Even so, it's a really good masterpiece. That's so cool, and I could just buy this stuff. That's awesome. I think I'm gonna go to the diamond shop now so I can buy more gems... Immediately, just in case someone has stuff for gems that I can't afford. Oh, the diamond shop's full. Well, crap. <laughs> uh, this is just so laggy. I'm trying to write a thing for someone, but it's so laggy. Um, okay. Whoa, people are selling rares at, the, at their shops for like, oh my gosh, so many diamonds. I actually spent mine on an item I've been wanting for a really long time, so that's really cool. Oh my gosh. So that's what shops are, and you kind of saw glimpses of the friendship den um, a little bit. Um, yeah. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys.